Starting off the news this week, some really big astronomical news. Astronomers have discovered a huge object using gravitational wave detectors across the world. What's interesting about this observation is that the object in question is heavier than what was previously believed to be the heaviest a neutron star could be, but lighter than what was previously believed to be the lightest a black hole could be. So what this object actually is, scientists are unsure. However, the researchers who published their findings in the journal The Astrophysical Journal Letters believe that the object is most likely a light black hole, although they aren't certain, and the idea of a black neutron star has also been brought up. This discovery is massive, and the object that has been detected shouldn't exist by our current knowledge of the universe, so this data will likely change a lot about what we think the universe really looks like. In other news, two new studies have cast doubts on the effectiveness of large-scale tree planting to help climate change. Over the last few years, the idea of planting swathes of trees at a low-cost, high-impact way to combat climate change has caught on both publicly and politically, with studies saying that it's the best way to combat climate change. But two recent independent studies have concluded the opposite, that large-scale tree planting can backfire and reduce biodiversity, having little impact on carbon emissions. The other study suggested that the amount of carbon that newly planted trees can absorb has been overestimated. Read more about this in the links provided below. Also in this week's news is the description of the first skeletal remains of a hadrosaurid dinosaur to be found in the Ganzhou region of China. Footprints were already known from this location that were thought to be from hadrosaurs. However, this partial fossil rib cage confirms that relatively large, at least 9 meter long hadrosaurids were present in this region in southern China. And now over to Ben with some more paleontology news. Thanks Doug. There's been some pretty exciting paleontology news that came out this last week concerning the discovery that the eggs laid by the earliest dinosaurs would actually have been soft-shelled and not hard-shelled as previously thought. This research, published in Nature, explains how before now most fossil dinosaur eggs that have been found only came from three groups, hadrosaurids, derived sauropods, and derived theropods. The eggs of these groups all had thick, calcified outer layers and were hard-shelled, and so therefore, it was assumed that the ancestors of all these dinosaurs would have laid hard-shelled eggs too. However, this new study has analysed the eggs of Protoceratops and the basal sauropodomorph Masaurus, which are exceptionally well preserved, and have enabled the paleontologists to determine that they actually had soft shells, similar to modern leathery turtle eggs. So dinosaurs started off laying soft-shelled eggs, but then independently evolved hard-shelled eggs at least three different times within different lineages. A truly remarkable discovery that shows the power of convergent evolution. And there's more exciting prehistoric egg news next, as another paper in Nature reports on the discovery of a giant soft-shelled egg from the Lake Cretaceous of Antarctica. The paleontologists describe how this fossil is larger in volume than all known non-avian dinosaur eggs found so far, and is similar in structure to the eggs of living snakes and lizards, suggesting that it may have come from a mosasaur, although mosasaurs are presumed to have given live birth like the other groups of giant Mesozoic marine reptiles. So a very interesting discovery indeed. Back to Doug in the studio. Thank you, Ben. That's it for this week's Seven Days of Science. I do hope you enjoyed it and feel free to subscribe if you haven't already. As always, we'll see you on Sunday.